Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and I have for you your weekly tower reading from my fun-loving Leos for the week starting February 22nd, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. It would be very appreciative. And I also like to thank all my welcome, my new subscribers um, to my channel, and thanks those who already subscribed and been following me for a while. Thank you so much. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you for your like, your share. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your private messages. I read all of them, and really, really makes me feel very humble to have you supporting me. Thank you. And now. On to your reading, my beautiful Leos. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I also shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we're starting this week for you, my Leos. King of Cups. Okay, so we have the King of Cups here. He's in a position of the past here, uh, my Leos. Although he's not looking at the past himself. He's just in the position. So it could mean that maybe you have let go someone, okay, emotionally, because cups is is, is about emotion, okay? Um, because normally if, you know, I would say love is coming if it were in a closer position. It could be that love is coming slowly because it's in a past position. So maybe, you know, and he's not looking away. We do have kings that are, are looking different um different way he's looking ahead of himself so you know we'll have to see the other cards to truly understand the meaning but i do feel that you know some of my leos might have you know just you know let go of someone you know maybe uh women you're now dece deciding to let go of a lover okay or maybe men now you're just see things differently now you you're you know you're you're going you know you're going you're going within uh, inside your, your your heart and see you know how you feel about the people that are around you but let's see what we have uh, my Leo's in the near past position we have the star Wow mm, interesting oh yeah I love this card especially for you my Leo so the star is in the near past position for you I mean the star is the ultimate protection. It's when you're shining, okay, um, of you know, over others. When you look some, you know, better, okay. And it's not just physically. It could be just that you feel that way. I see this because you have Venus and Mercury in your seventh house. It's in Aquarius. Seventh house is the house of other people. Everybody else. Seventh house is the house, 180 degrees, you know away from you okay so it really it represent in some type you know sometimes opposition but opposite attracts okay especially when you have venus in aquarius that means that a lot of people are looking at you right because venus in aquarius is looking her head so it's looking at leos okay so you have a lot of protection okay not just protection i feel here you're supposed to shine okay you're supposed to put yourself out there okay again this is a near past position so you know, the energy is, is, is low, but it's a major arcana. So it's going to stay there regardless of the position. Okay. Here you're, 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 you're being told whatever the decision, because there's something about emotion here. You have a king. Okay. You're being, if, if that person is, is out, or if you have a lover that you no longer consider, you don't want to consider anymore. And it says that better things are, are ahead of you. Okay. It says that the universe will guide you. Because the star represents the universe, but also it represents Aquarius. Okay? And remember, Venus is an Aquarius. So it's the best time for you to look as good as you can because you're being looked at. You're shining. And let's see what we have for you, my Leos, in the future position. Here you are, uh, Queen of Swords. Okay? Um, the element, it's air. Okay, it's not fire as Leo, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it's not as mundane as this. The Queen of Swords, you could see here, she's the only one with the weapon. She's very serious. She's all about business. I feel that here she comes in in your life, or maybe it could be your position. I do feel that it's your position here. 
I think that uh, now with all the support that you're getting from the universe, you're putting yourself in a, in a uh, you know, you're gaining much clarity. The queen is the highest level in terms of, you know, uh, swords. I mean, there's a king as well, but the king and the queen just, they really do mean something very different. Here, she's about being fair. Okay? She's about being fair, but she's also about being rational. Okay? Which is a little different than the cups. Okay? Cups is being caught up sometimes. So, know that if ever you have to, you made a decision, and you're not too sure, you're starting this week with, you know, feeling kind of like, you know, not 100%. Know that as the week proceed before the end of the week, you'll be in your element. Because, you know... Air is what fire needs. Air is what Leo needs to be pushed, to create. To, they need a lot of this. Okay, It's the most compatible element is air with um, fire. So know that it says having the queen of, of swords in the future, know that all the people around you are truly on your side. Okay, You have this clear, whatever you see, you see clearly. However you feel, it's coming, you know, there's, after your feeling, it goes straight to your mind. It goes straight to your head, you know. So this is a good week in terms of making decision, okay, um, my uh, my beautiful Leos, because you have a lot of things in the seven house. Seven house is also the house of business, okay. It's uh, the it's you know uh, exchange and things like that, a marketplace if you want to call it the seven house. It's a house of business. It's the house of other people again. So for those that are in business, maybe you'll have this, you know, woman coming in your life, you know, uh, to straighten everything else for you. Someone who has a lot of experience. And for men, it could be that now, you know, you have this woman in your life who's coming because, it, again, it's in a future position. That's a very, very uh, beneficial energy for you, my Leo. And let's see what we have in the future position. I'm sorry, in the outcome position. That was the future. Now we have the outcome here. It's a ten of pentacles. You know, solidifying your, your resource, solidifying your career, solidifying your vision and your ambition in terms of what, you know, what you value and, you know, how much you value yourself. The ten of pentacles is the highest, you know, um, number, of course, in terms of pentacles because it represents... Uh, completeness, having this complete balance in your life. As you see, yes, it's about money, but it's also about resource. It's also about people. There's two people here. So I trust that this week you'll finish, uh, you'll end this week with this sentiment of abundance, okay? Resource is many things. It could be from people because you have a lot of energy in your seventh house. Maybe, you know, you'll you gain a lot of resource from them or money because, again, it's, it's a house of business, the seventh house. All in all, I really trust you will use this week to your benefit because you have this great energy, Leos, around you, okay? And I trust all will be well. Let me know how this reading resonated with you. Leave me a comment below the video. Until then, sending you lots of kisses. I love you.